Sorry. Could that report be anyway? Could I be wearing any more clothes? Could I be any more turned on? Could that shot be any prettier? What the hell is Emily? <gasps> no! These are her earrings. No! Your messages have been erased. No! No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. 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 I know. 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 Playing in the Hello, this is Ross Geller's personal physician, Dr. Phalange. Hello, my name is Regina Phalange. Didn't I just throw you out of here? No, you threw out Phoebe. I'm Regina Phalange. Phalange. Were you ever in a sorority? Of course, yes. I was a, um, five mega tampon. <laughs> what one? Yeah, you know, we were really huge, too, but then they had to shut us down when Regina Phalange died of alcohol poisoning. Regina Phalange. Regina Phalange. I am Regine Phalange. Is everything okay? Actually, no. No, you, you have to get off the plane. What? Why? I have this feeling that something's wrong with it. Something is wrong with the left phalange. We were on a plane. 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 If, if she thought they were on a break. By the way, it seems to be perfectly clear that you were on a break. Oh, hey, Rich, remember that whole we were on a break thing? Well, I'm sorry. Will you marry me? About the time I said we were on a break. Just wish we could be, like, on a break. Because you guys were on a break. We were on a break. No, we weren't. What happened to you two? And over the we were on a break thing really quickly. That's why, no matter what Mommy says, we really were on a break. Unless we're on a break. <laughs> How you doing? 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 How you are doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good, baby. How you doing? 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gotta buy a vowel. <laughs> because, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. 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 Where I find my heaven. Where I find my heaven. Right then.
Don't do it, man. Do not work. Shut up, Henson! <laughs> better get undressed. It's just a silly impulse, really. I suppose he's desperately in love with me now. Is he going to be your new boyfriend? No, yeah, we'll see. He's asked me out on a date. If I'm going to marry money, I suppose I'd better do it before I lose my looks. in the bath. I got really dirty this afternoon. How did Matthew get so dirty? Oh, dirty, just hanging out in the flat. I hear you ask. Well, I'll tell you. You wait till you hear this. I was shagging Laura from upstairs. Laura! Schmacked. He's got to tell her about the brain tumour. He's got to. No, I don't think so. Let them snatch a few brief weeks of happiness while they can. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I've been shagging Laura from upstairs. We knocked over a couple of pot plants while we were rolling around the room in an animalistic frenzy. There was mud everywhere. She cleaned it up before she went home, though. She's a good kid. <laughs> talking about? You've been shagging Laura. I have. <laughs> she had a row with her husband and I comforted her. She needed a lot of comforting. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, surely you don't expect us to believe that. Oh, God, you're really losing your touch, Matthew. It was more convincing that time you said our postman was Elvis. <laughs> oh, it's sweet, really. <laughs> Laura from upstairs. <laughs> if she fancy a mad, it'll squirt like you. <laughs> you don't believe me, then? Come into my bedroom and look at my sheets. <laughs> You'll find all the proof you need there. Sorry, mate, you've cried wolf too many times. Yeah, but it's true this time. I'm seeing her tomorrow as well, but it's supposed to be a secret, though, because she's scared her husband might find out. So she can only come round when you two are out. Oh, oh. how terribly convenient. <laughs> but it's true! I don't care if you believe me or not, because I've just had the seven best shags of my life. <laughs> seven! seven. <laughs> Good morning, sir. And how are we today? Blooming, thank you. And you? Radiant, sir. <laughs> Radiant. Good, good. Now, I'm looking for a suit. Not too formal, not too casual. Lightweight, but not too flimsy. A neutral colour, but not too dull. Oh, you know your own mind, don't you, sir? <laughs> yes, I suppose I do. Oh, a suit, sir. Suit you. Is that all you're after, sir? Yes, after all. I have enough socks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about going at it full pelt with a tranny, sir? <gasps> and a female, a man, woman, man. Ooh. Why do you ask? Just a matter of interest, sir. I take an interest in that sort of thing. I see. And you, sir? Have you ever sampled the unique delights of a lady man? <laughs> you think that's none of your business, sir. You're quite right. Now, this suit. <laughs> yes, uh, a suit. Uh, these were tailored in Thailand. Sir. Anything goes out there, doesn't it, sir? <laughs> Much time out there, sir, in Bangkok. <laughs> now, Kenneth, he's a live one. Mm? The sex capital of the world, sir. Mm? But don't you feel grubby after a while, sir? Yes, I generally feel I need a thorough cleansing after I've mired myself in the addictive world of pornography, prostitution, and perverse sex games. <laughs> one always hates oneself, don't you think? Well, uh, one feels the need to reacquaint oneself with the finer things in life, with purity and love and innocence. And then, it's down with the trousers, out with the old chap, and come on, ladies, come on, gentlemen, come on, you trannies, fruits of the forest, satyrs. Come slide down the greasy pole of my depravity. I'll bring the chickens. What time's bottom on? It ain't on anymore. It's Newman and Bedell instead. Oh, well, let's wash that, then. No, Wayne, it's too intellectual for you. 
Well, they say Willy sometimes, don't they? No, Wayne. They're from Cambridge University. They say Penice. <laughs> Penice? Yes, it's posh for knob. <laughs> anyway. What are you doing? I am turning the television off. What? Why? Because every night since we've got married, all we've done is watch television. Yeah, so what? So, tonight, for a change, I thought we'd have it off. <laughs> I don't want to have it off with you, Waynetta. You stink. Have the television off. Oh. Why? Cos I thought, for a change, we might have a conversation. A what? A conversation. <laughs> All right, then you start. Right. I wonder what the weather will be like tomorrow. <laughs> so do I. Let's turn the telly on and find out. No, Ryan. The weather forecast ain't on for another couple of hours. Well. Let's turn it on now, lest we forget to watch and miss the forecast completely. No way! Let's try politics. What do you think of Blair, then? I think he's very good on Give Us A Clue. Not Lionel Blair, Tony Blair. Who's Tony Blair? He's the leader out of the Labour Party. Who's the Labour Party? Oh, never mind. Let's try art. You don't know nothing about art. I have a smattering of knowledge. <laughs> All right, then name a painter. All right. It's pistachio. <laughs> Turnip. <laughs> Vangelis. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Let's try literature. Did you enjoy the last book you read? Not really, no. I gave up halfway through. I found the plot a little complicated. Did you rain? Yes, I did rain, Etta. Oh, what a crying shame. And what was this book? Spot the Dog. <laughs> Dear Mr. Brian Boyd, no doubt by now you have received full information about the untimely death of your son. However, there are some personal details that Believe I very strongly... No words of mine can ever... He was a fine soldier and... Regarding the circumstances leading to his death... felt his loss tremendously. Robert's commanding officer... His heroic service to his country... A great soldier... Dedicated friend... The grace of God and the aid of your Those son, of us I'm must alive. Please today. accept my most sincere condolences... He will live in our memories... to you my deepest sympathy. Colonel, I've got something you should know about. Yes. These two men died in Normandy. This one in Omaha Beach. Sean Ryan. This one in Utah. Peter Ryan. This man was killed last week in New Guinea. Daniel Ryan. The three men are brothers, sir. I've just learned that this afternoon their mother's getting all three telegrams. That's not all. There's a fourth brother, the youngest. He's somewhere in Normandy. We don't know where. That boy's alive. We're going to send somebody to find him, and we're going to get him the hell out of there. Some private in the 101st lost three of his brothers, and he's got a ticket home. It's not going to be easy finding one particular soldier in the whole damn war. Thank you.